So to add an add into your game, you need to insert an add GUI instance into a part. Like so. And this part needs to have a 16 to 9 ratio for the advertisement to show up. And it also needs to have a certain size of at least 8 by 4 stats. Here you can see that the advertisement popped up and that's it. It's really simple. You just add the instance into a part and then just select the face. Here it's showing at the front. But let me talk about the properties now. So the fallback image is the image that shows whenever the advertisement doesn't load because the advertisements are client based and if you are let's say a user that sees an ad and you have a friend in your game, they might be seeing a different ad. So this is just like a placeholder image which if it's left at the default it's going to just show the Roblox logo. Right now there is only one ad shape which is this horizontal rectangle but I'm guessing that there will be different ones in the future. You have enabled, enabled video ads and also reset on spawn. That means whenever your character dies, it's going to show a different ad. And then you have the Z-index behavior set to sibling. And this is the behavior on the layered connector. Oh, it even fills up right here whenever you hover over it. But that's the basics of the ad, but there is also other information that I need to go to the documentation for. And one of them is the experience and user eligibility, where this paragraph says that if your experience is going to be suitable for ads, which is based on internal set of eligibility criteria, which Roblox doesn't want to share with us for some reason, I guess. I couldn't really find what the criteria was, so yeah. But you can check the experience status in basically the left hand side when you go to the develop page. For example, let's say if I just went into here, went to my talking place, if this experience could get ads, it would show right here in the left hand side in the monetization tab, like it does in this screen right here. And how exactly do these advertisements work? So let's say I was a user, right? I would see an advertisement. This is the fallback image, by the way. If it was something that, let's say, caught my eye, I would be able to click on the advertisement and it would probably prompt me to teleport into a different place that was advertised. For example, I was in a obby game, right? I would see this, press on it, and then it would just take me to a random tycoon. And because of that interaction, the developer of the game is going to earn Robux by the user engaging with the ad. And with the image ads, there is also a thing where the advertiser's experience includes a button that returns users back to your game so they are able to just go back and forth between the advertisements and the rest of this documentation part basically just tells you how to set everything up and it also shows the different properties and i will be leaving links to everything in here in the description since there is the immersive ads and also the ad gui documentation from right here which i just noticed that they changed the documentation a little bit it didn't used to look like this but that's neat but really quickly, I also need to say that this immersive ads page also tells you how you earn Robux by engagement with the ads. It's this paragraph right here that says if your active users are eligible to see ads and meet the specific criteria from the advertiser, such as their gender or device, you may be eligible to earn Robux according how they interact with the advertisement. For example, whenever the user sees the ad where they state that, that they basically have a system for whenever the viewer sees the ad. So I am probably guessing that putting a lot of advertisements next to each other like this wouldn't really work. So it's something like this is not really considered, you know, immersive advertisements. This is rather invasive than immersive. And I don't know how Roblox applies to this, but there are also laws regarding on, let's say the European Union has laws regarding how many ads can be shown throughout the, you know, television and stuff to users in a certain range time. So Roblox might have probably some regulations regarding this. But as usual, if you found this tutorial informative, then please leave a like. It would really support me and my channel, but that's going to be everything for today. So thank you guys for watching and see ya.